40,000 women die from breast cancer each year, but there are ways to reduce the numbers. ABC 7's Lamaya Harvell joins us live in studio now with the story of one survivor's fight and what a local doctor says about popular myths surrounding the disease. Lamaya? In 1987, Teresa Dora remembers teaching her high school daughter how to check for cancerous lumps. It was that day when she found a tumor of her own. So I called the doctor and he said, come right down. I did, and I was in surgery the next morning. After going through radiation and chemotherapy, Doran's life was far from normal. It's bad enough to get that first diagnosis because you imagine all kinds of things. Your life is going to end, and, and there are so many things you don't anticipate because you've never been through it before. And she never anticipated hearing that breast cancer was back 24 years later. Which was a lot harder. Um, I had to put up with all the secondary things, the infection and um, the scarring. Medical oncologist and breast specialist Lova Arneva says the idea that breast cancer occurs only once is a myth. There's something called recurrence and uh, recurrence is when cancer comes back either in the same breast or you develop another cancer in uh, another area. Arneva says about three to ten percent of women will get it again. Unfortunately, Doran was of that number. But I've got this one here who has laughed with me and joked with me and cried with me. After the second diagnosis, Doran's daughter, Charlyn Fromm, wondered if she was prone to breast cancer as well. Having a first degree relative, either a mother, um, a sister, a daughter with a history of breast cancer does increase one's risk of having breast cancer. But even in women who have a genetic predisposition to breast cancer, not 100% of them will develop the disease. Fortunately for Fromm, Doran did not pass on any cancerous genes, but Dr. Aniva says having a regular screening is ideal. Then we can develop risk reduction strategies and start screening them earlier as well. Dr. Arnevis says getting a mammogram screening or even the treatment for breast cancer isn't lethal, but ignoring the signs can be. She recommends everyone should get a mammogram screening as young as the age of 40 years old. I'm in Amarillo, Lamaya Harvell, ABC 7 News.